Hey guys, we're making bread tonight, following the needy homesteader's suggestions. So, we're fixing to find out how we did. So stay tuned. Please, if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. Give me a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you. I would love you to join my YouTube family, and I would love for you to share my videos. So thank you for joining. Stay tuned. We're making bread. Hey guys, so yes, I'm all natural today, <laughs> um, but today we're making bread. I love making bread. To me, there's just something therapeutic about it. I just love the feel of the dough. I love making bread. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I've made yeast rolls, I've made cinnamon rolls, I've made loaf bread, I make my crusty bread. Well, the other day I was scrolling through YouTube and a recommended thing from the Needy Homesteader, which I do follow her, came up and she was making baguettes. Well, that's something I've never made. So I love a challenge. So I decided we would try to make some baguettes today. And um, I will link her video down below so you can go watch her. She's a professional at the baguettes where I am not. This will be my first time trying them. Although the recipe is pretty general as far as the recipes I've used. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. So I'm going to turn you guys down here if I can. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. All right. And I'm going to start out with a tablespoon of yeast and it's instant yeast and that's something I don't necessarily level off to make sure it's level I just dip and go and we're going with a tablespoon of sugar and then we're going to go in with two cups of warm water I hope it's still warm yes yeah, okay warm not as warm as I wanted it but that's okay Two cups of water. Now on my mixer attachment, I'm gonna be using um, my dough hook for everything from the mixing to um, everything. So now we're gonna start out, whoa. We're gonna start out with four cups of flour. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Um, We're just going to go ahead and put in four cups of flour. There's one. And this is all purpose. Two. I knew I should have worn my kitchen scarf. I'm getting flour everywhere. Three. And four. Now I have a fifth cup already pulled out over here um, where my mixer will be and it will just be added as we need it as the dough continues to get less sticky or whatever. Okay so to that we're gonna add two teaspoons whoa a little more than two teaspoons of salt There we go. Don't forget the salt, by the way. <laughs> and three tablespoons of olive oil. Two. Three. Okay, so now we're going to head over to the mixer and we'll get started. And I'll let you watch this process. Do not be intimidated at making bread. Making bread is much easier than it appears. You've just got to know what to look for. I've shared that with my cinnamon roll video that don't, don't be intimidated. Just know what to look for. Baking bread is just so, I just love it. It just is, it's like therapy to me. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a, 
art that everybody needs to know how to do. Everybody needs to know how to make some type of bread because if there's ever a food shortage, if you can make bread and you can, if you have flour and can put together some bread, you can feed your family. So let's go over here to the mixer. Okay guys, I'm going to try to angle this where you can see, but I do not have one of those bendable tripods, so it may be difficult, but we're going to try it. And let's see if I can zoom you in. Sorry. Oh, it's not going to zoom. Okay. Well, we're going to go with there and I'll just pick the camera up and show you. All right, so we're going to turn the mixer on. <laughs> there we go. And it's just going to work it all up. When it starts coming together, I'll bring you back and show you exactly what we're looking for. Okay, guys, you can see it's just a puddle of stuff. So I'm going to start adding some of my extra flour here. I've got me a little scoop that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to add a little bit at a time until it starts coming together in the form of a ball. And we may need to get more flour out. This may not be enough. See, it's starting to come together more. It's not that puddle of stuff, but it's still on the bottom of the bowl. And you can see that it's still sticky. The needy home setter, she did such a great job showing and teaching you what to look for. See, it's coming together even more, but as it came together, look, now it's spreading back out on the bottom. That just means it's not ready and you need more flour. And the amount of flour that you're going to need depends on the day or depends on what your weather's been. Like, we've had nothing but rain forever, and so it's going to take more flour this time than it normally would or than it would on a hot, dry I'm going to actually have to use more than a cup. Okay, see it's still sticking a little bit to the bowl, but it's starting to clean the edge of the bowl. But there it goes, it's starting to fall back down into a puddle more flour. Whoops, I used all of that. <laughs> I didn't mean to pour it all. Okay, so let me watch this a minute and then I'll go get some more flour because I have a feeling we're going to need more. Okay guys, as you can see, it fell back into a puddle so it's saying I need more flour and so we're just going to give it what it's asking for that's the bread's way of saying I need more dryness and so we're going to do that we're going to give it more flour okay guys I wanted to show you do you see how it's sticking um, it, that means it's still too moist and it, we need to go some more. Whoops, forgot to lock it. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. 
So it's still calling for more flour. And you just never know how much it's going to take. I mean, I've almost used six cups of flour. All right, I'll bring you back when it's ready. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you how it is cleaning the bottom of my bowl. Do you see how it has cleaned and picked up the dough from the bottom? Let's just lift it up here. And see, it's not sticking to my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. Not bad, anyway. It is up here where it's still moist, but down here it's not. So, I think I'm going to put one more little sprinkle. I'm going to clean off the top. Put one more little sprinkle of flour in there. Just a little bit. And then we're going to let it knead for about five to seven minutes. And I'll meet you back. Okay, guys, the five minutes is just about up. And I want you to look down in here at what it looks like. There we go. All right. So I'm going to just twist this off. I said I was. There we go. I'll meet you over at the table. Okay, guys, let's see what we got. It looks like it might could still use a little bit of flour. And I'll drop this down in there. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. There we go. All right. So, let's get our bread out here. There we go. All right, I just wanted to be sure I got everything. Now, this is my favorite part right here. I love to knead bread and just look just look at that I just want to show you how beautiful that is I think it needs to be kneaded some more it needs to be kneaded everybody needs to be kneaded <laughs> my bread needs to be kneaded all right They, look at there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that spring back. Beautimus. There is, I'm telling you, there's just something absolutely therapeutic about making bread. Something just wonderful about making bread. Okay. So we're, instead of dirtying up another pot, see, I always dirty up another pot. But Needy Homesteader used her mixer. I'm like, brilliant. Much. I want to put just a little bit of olive oil down in there. All right. Well, this is going to be the bottom. It's just, y'all, it's so smooth. Can you hear that? I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, Gonna take it. Whoa! I'm gonna pop it down. I'm doing it just like she did it, and then we're gonna. Well, maybe not quite like she did it. <laughs> well, I put a few dents in mine, but that's okay. All right. I may have put too much oil. Okay, guys. Let me grab my bread towel, but I gotta rinse my hands real quick. Okay, I have actually turned my oven on to 150, but I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off. Oven off. 
I'm going to put my bread towel over this. I'm going to stick it after I remove the bread pan. I may have to lower that rack, actually. I forgot I had a bread pan in there. Okay, let's see if I have to lower my rack. No, and I'm going to slide it over towards the light. Maybe I should have left the bread pan in there. <laughs> what do y'all think? Okay, we're going to turn the light back on. And we're going to let it proof for 30 minutes. And let it rise and be beautiful. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on a second video, which is what's for supper tonight. And that's going to be tomato basil soup. So while that's working, oh, and let me tell you what else I'm going to do. The Needy Homesteader had baguette pans. Now that's something, if I really like making baguettes, if these turn out really good, which I know they will, if they turn out really good and I want to start making baguettes, then I will invest in some baguette pans. But I don't have them now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like crinkle up some tin foil and try to keep them that way. Like try to make my own baguette stand, sorta. And um, so I'm gonna work on that, and I'll show you that when it comes time. Y'all ready to check this bread, this yeast? Oh my goodness! Look, it's more than doubled in size. So I'm just gonna leave you turned down there, and I'm gonna deflate it. And we're just going to pull it. I put plenty of oil, let me tell you. Plenty of oil. So I'm going to stretch it out into a rectangle. Sorry, the table's wiggling. This is very similar to the way I do my yeast rolls. If y'all remember watching those. Whoops, get back on there. And you want it pretty even, like here's a thin, thin part, so I don't want it. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, we're gonna cut it into three, we're gonna make three baguettes. And let me, I just had my dough scraper. Let's go here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Now, I showed y'all that I did not have a baguette pan. But y'all, do y'all have any idea how genius I feel right now? Voila! Okay, I'm going to move everything out. I'm going to get my olive oil spray. And then we are going to put these baguettes over here and get them ready. Okay, y'all, I'm going to kind of do this exactly the way um, the Needy Homesteader did it. And she just kind of rolled them up. Roll, 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 roll. I don't have a big enough... Um, Spot. <laughs> to um, put them. So there's one. This one is a little more narrow. And you can tell they're starting to rise again already. So you need to work quick. 
We're going to roll them up. She did a much better job of this than I did, but we're going to... They're going to come out looking pretty. All right. There's number two. This. Okay, guys. In the real world, my camera quit filming. I cut some slits on them, and so now we're fixing to top them. And my Judabug and Caroline and Levi's fixing to come in, and you can hear Caroline singing. But um, we're going to get these topped, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, I'm doing it just like the Needy Homesteader did. So I've got an egg and a little bit of water. Whoop! And now I'm wearing the egg. I'm wearing it again. All right. Okay, and I'm just going to give these an egg wash. And we're going to top them with two different things. We're going to make two of them everything bagel baguettes. And then we're going to make the other one just a salt garlic powder type baguette. So I'm excited to see how these turn out. They're not nearly as pretty as hers. But like I said, it's my first time putting them together. If I enjoy them. Mm-hmm. All right, let's make this big one an everything bagel. Uh-oh, Levi's not happy. And we're going to make the middle one an everything bagel. There we go. All right, and the last one we'll just make a garlic. We'll just sprinkle it with some garlic powder and some salt. We'll top it off with some salt. Uh, she had some cool roasted garlic, like from the Amish stores. Oh, I'm going to have to go get some of that. Okay. All right, I hadn't even got my oven preheated, so let me get that going. I'm going to preheat it to 425. And then they're going to go in for about 20 minutes, probably, knowing my oven. It'll be about 20 minutes, but I should have already had my oven preheated, but so far they look beautiful. I'm excited. I mean, not near as pretty as hers, but I don't have the pan, and this was my first time. So, cut me some slack. All right, so, now we just got to wait for the oven. I'll bring you, I'm going to go ahead, I won't bring you back when it preheats, but I'll bring you back when I pull them out of the oven. Everybody, Judah wanted to come in and say hello. Can you say hey, everybody? Hey, everybody. Say, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. And say, I'm Bubbles boy. I'm Bubbles boy. I'm Mommy's boy and Bubbles boy. Mommy's boy and Bubbles boy. <laughs> Guess what? The bread's out of the oven. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to get my cooling rack out, and we're going to set them on that, and I'm going to show you what they look like, and then I'll come back, and we'll do a taste test when Bryant comes in for supper. Okay, y'all, so my hard-working, sweet, wonderful husband is still outside working. Um, he just works so hard all the time. But I can't hardly stand it anymore. I'm dying to get into this bread and just see how it turned out. So, yes, I did get the tops. <laughs> Good gracious, that looks burnt on camera. It's not really that <laughs> dark. I mean, it's dark on camera. I mean, it's dark, but it's not that dark. I don't know why it looks so dark, but let's see if it looks any better this way. Not really. It still looks dark. But anyway. In here, it's really not that dark. Um, 
but I did get it because where the tin foil was, the sides were still a little, didn't feel quite done enough for me. So I um, stuck it back in the oven. I took the tin foil out, stuck it back in the oven. So if this is good, then yes, I will be getting me a baguette pan. But let's cut it. I'm going to cut it in half. Y'all, look at that. Look. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a little olive oil, cut them like this and little slices like this, cut them up, put a little olive oil on it and toast them up in the oven to make them crusty. But I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is really good. Mm. Y'all. Everybody needs to know how to make bread. Even, sorry, I keep going up and down. Even if you're watching your gluten or whatever, you still need to know how to make bread. I mean, y'all, if I made this in a loaf pan, this is going to make the perfect sandwich bread. I mean, this is really good. Really, really good. So I'm going to slice this up and get it ready to toast up in the oven um, to go with our soup, which will be another day's video, but we're having tomato basil soup. And, um, I'm going to go finish this video, get it up for you. Sorry you're not getting to see Bryant tonight. Um, but, um, I'm going to go get this video edited and put up for you guys. Because I have no idea when my husband's coming in. This is good bread. I'll be investing in a baguette pan and I'll link it down in my Amazon store so you can see exactly where I'm getting it. Go check out the Needy Homesteader. Right now she's doing a bread making workshop. Um, this is not my first time making bread. I love to make bread but this is my first time shaping and making baguettes. So I definitely have some work to do. Mine weren't near as pretty as hers. <laughs> but not bad for the first time. So thank you guys for watching the Farm and Pastures Way. <laughs> I'm spitting on myself. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.